Human cells can be broadly classified into two categories. Primitive unit cells and centered unit cells. Unit cells in which all the constituent particles such as atoms, ions or molecules are present only at the corners are called primitive unit cells. Unit cells in which one or more constituent particles are present at positions other than its corners in addition to those at the corners, it is called a centered unit cell. Based on the position of the centered constituent particle, centered unit cells are categorized into three types. Body-centered unit cell, face-centered unit cell, and end-centered unit cell. A body-centered unit cell has constituent particles at all its corners, as well as one particle at its body center, as shown here. A face-centered unit cell has constituent particles at all its corners, as well as at the center of each face. An end-centered unit cell has one constituent particle at the center of any two opposite faces besides the ones present at its corners. You know that a three-dimensional crystal lattice is generated by the translation of lattice parameters A, B and C. Based on lattice parameters, we have seven popular crystal systems, namely cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, hexagonal, rhombohedral, monoclinic, and triclinic. Let's discuss each in detail. In a cubic crystal system, all the three axes are of equal length and are at right angles to each other. The possible lattices are primitive, body-centered, and face-centered as shown here, sodium chloride, zinc blend and copper are well-known examples of this type. In a tetragonal crystal system, the three axes are at right angles to each other, but only two are equal. The possible lattices are primitive, and body-centered. Calcium sulfate and titanium dioxide are examples of this type of crystal structure. In an orthorhombic crystal system, the three axes are unequal, but all axes are at right angles to each other. The possible lattices are primitive, body-centered, face-centered, and end-centered. Rhombic sulfur, potassium nitrate, and barium sulfate are examples of this type. In a hexagonal crystal system, two edges are of equal length, two angles are of 90 degrees and one angle is of 120 degrees. The only possible lattice is primitive. For example, graphite, Zinc oxide. In a rhombohedral or trigonal crystal system, 
the three axes are of equal length and inclined at the same angle, but the angle is not equal to 90 degrees. The only possible lattice is primitive. Calcium carbonate and mercuric sulfide are examples. In a monoclinic crystal system, the three axes are of unequal length and only two angles are of 90 degrees. The possible lattices are primitive and end-centered. For example, monoclinic sulfur and decahydrated sodium sulfate. In a triclinic crystal system, the three axes are of unequal length and all angles are different and none is equal to 90 degrees. The only possible lattice is primitive. Potassium dichromate, boric acid and copper sulfate pentahydrate are some examples.